Hello guys, good evening. Welcome again to Chats Garden. How are you guys? I hope you're okay. For us here, it's not quite that good because we had a four rows of typhoon and it rained hard for one month and it just stopped today. Guys, so it's quite devastating to our plants many of our plants got uh, rotten but then um, most are of course surviving and here is the plant that i uh, showed to you lately and i hope you enjoyed watching it and for those who were not able to view it guys uh, feel free to do so and it's Halloween today and here are my Halloween uh, decors <laughs> not that creepy ones guys but um, I hope you like it and now we are this is just a recap of my house plant tour one and now we're going to have a house plant uh, tour a part two guys and i'm welcoming you to the upstairs of my there to my uh, second floor the second floor of my house guys yeah now we're going upwards guys and as we celebrate the halloween i'm going to let you in into my second uh, floor this is the second uh, part of my house plant tour and it's about time also to show you my second floor and my third living room these are my creepy ones. Oh, it's October 31 today and it's Halloween, guys. So, this is my uh, Halloween, etc. <laughs> so, this is, let's start here. This is my um, Alocasia cuculata. This one, guys, it's very shiny. The leaves are very shiny and it's enjoying here inside and because it rained so hard for the past uh, almost a month so i put them here inside guys and they are also enjoying the place oh, this is my welcome plant the green variety and this this is the combination of green shield alocasia green shield and that of my collegium guys oh it is stayed in here in this uh deck of, uh this one we're not using this rattan uh, chair anymore guys so i opted to put some plants in it guys and these are our creepy uh, decor here and there is no the candle here guys oh, look at this my oh, skull yeah this is the second floor of my house my third living room here guys and i'm also having this skull and a candy treat and let's start in here we have this hoya crimson queen guys this is my centerpiece um, it's been with me for about six months now this one and it's thriving well i already propagated one guys i cut in here and i propagated where's the there i cut there I cut, I cut there guys and I propagated there and, and this is my fry deck, alocasia fry deck 
look at the leaves it's very very velvety guys we call, also call this a uh, green velvet because of this velvety shiny leaves and having lots of babies already guys and i also have here my uh, plant curtain this is hoya carnosa guys and it flowered several times with me already and there and maybe i'm forming another flower guys it has this a uh, violet a uh, beautiful flower guys this is a uh, carnosa and this is the another uh, white lady i think <laughs> and this is my uh, string of heart my beautiful string of heart trailing down there guys it flowered it flowered with, with me already and it has this uh what's this i don't think if this is bulbs or roots yeah very beautiful a string of hearts and down here we have this caladium lindenii guys this beautiful one look at this oh, beautiful pattern of leaves very beautiful and up here also i have this uh, string of banana yeah trailing string of banana guys look at this very very beautiful and i already propagated also and this one is i know plenty of uh possible propagations right? oh yeah they are rooted guys oh you see this is very very easy to propagate guys yeah string of banana and in here this uh rock in here guys we have this um peperomia uh, raindrops look at this very shiny thick leaves and it uh, resembles the uh, shape of the raindrops guys oh. very beautiful peperomia and this one is the black velvet guys this is already my propagation and it is stayed under the rain for several days now and it loves the rain guys oh look at this beautiful beautiful leaves velvety guys velvety thick and uh, firm leaves it's very shiny guys and this one another uh, peperomia raindrops one. and down here we have another uh, a string of hearts this one and it's trailing down i love this string of hearts because they are not really that sensitive guys even if you put it uh, under the rain for a long time as long as it is a uh, well draining soil and it uh, could survive guys this one it is stayed almost two weeks under the rain continuous rain and uh look at this it loves the rain and this is another one the string of hearts also that is variegated look at this the beautiful variegations uh, with pinkish and yellowish edges guys oh, and also this one beautiful beautiful uh, variegations guys this one is the string of turtles I just repeated this guys because the birds uh, fond of picking it up guys so I put it also inside I this used to be so 
so bushy and having very big leaves but i've said the birds wanna play with it <laughs> i have lots of birds inside guys i outside guys and this is a my string of melon guys look at this one beautiful a string of melon this is also very very easy to care and there this is my epi album epi album guys look at this beautiful uh variegations very beautiful white green and gray variegations guys and look at this uh, small what they call this fenestrations yeah and this is my um oh yes plush oh yes plus i think because of this splashes it had even flowered uh, with me guys and i had this for about uh, four months now very beautiful and down here i have this um peperomia watermelon guys all oh, beautiful peperomia watermelon two of them i'm oh this got sunburned guys and i put this outside and it when uh, it was exposed to too long under the sun and it got burnt and up here we have this uh, another peperomia i think this is the peperomia parallel or petulata look at this very very beautiful leaves it's very very hard guys hard and firm and very thick leaves look at this oh. yeah i'm planning to cut and propagate this one yeah but i'm enjoying the view so maybe some other time yeah it's very very beautiful and it's very very last guys and another creepy one and this one i think is another pepperoni also maybe this is the quadrangularis or maybe the tetragona because of the three what's this lines <laughs> so maybe the tetragona yeah it's it's been trailing up and down guys and it's uh it flowered also it flowered with very very little flower the flower is negligible but it's cute guys look at this it's trailing and one in the corner is my uh, monstera adansoniae uh, it was given to me by a, the, a patient guys thank you thank you very much for this it gave me three of these three hanging uh, adansoniae very very beautiful fenestrations guys look at this very very last and in here i have several sensibilia guys yeah the bone cell sensibilia i have also like that canalicula and i have this cleopatra and and there also the pinricula i think is there and then another one another cute type of bone cell this one my pots are painted by my daughters guys <laughs> and also the skull and another creepy one and this one oh you you, you, you look at this guys it's been under uh, the rain continue daily for almost a month and it's beginning to rot guys it's good that i saw saw it and uh i saw it just today so i put it inside guys and look at this it's beginning to have this yellowish discoloration and if you cannot uh, if 
fix that one it will continue to rot and die guys so it's a blessing that i saw it like that yeah and also this one that this a twisted sensitivity also look at this it's very very sensitive and the bottom leaves also is beginning to rot guys oh look at this there so here here we have this uh Daifenbachia. i think this is Daifenbachia mary if you already viewed my Daifenbachia, guys my um video about Daifenbachia, i already uh, showed this to you my Daifenbachia, my Daifenbachia mary and this is my uh, reflector this is my diamond bucket reflector also and this is my candy treats mm. <laughs> candy treats and my uh, aglonema my aglonema milky way this is the very last aglonema milky way there guys and this is a creepy candle holder hmm. <laughs> there guys this is all for our film and guys and this is my other one and look at this Yan guys. Yan. This is my uh, plant tour part two Halloween. Yan. Okay guys. Yan. I'm drinking my ano. I'm drinking blueberry, <laughs> blueberry juice, and this is also another creepy candle holder. And guys, there, guys. <laughs> I hope you like it, guys, and <laughs> I hope you're not scared with my uh creepy creepy uh, things over here <laughs> it's halloween time happy halloween to all and uh if you like you put a thumbs up and do comment and share guys and do subscribe you're always welcome to my to my uh, chats garden and uh have a healthy and happy planting to all um enjoy your halloween guys and uh, i hope everyone is okay everyone is having fun and that's it guys thank you thank you so much for watching and uh there good evening to all guys thank you so much